I'm gonna take a picture, I wanna pose. Yeah. Pose with the treats, look at me. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.30 a.m. I'm just getting up. So good morning, Boo. Today, Stella jumped on my bed about two or three times to wake me up. Simba jumped on the bed twice. Splash came into the bedroom. And they've also been hanging out with Boo here near his door. There's only been a little bit of growling and hissing this morning. This is the end of this grungy wheatgrass. I mean, half of it has already turned like yellowish brown and it's gotten really thin, but they still want some, so I'll give it to them. But I bought new wheatgrass yesterday. And the question is, where is it? I really hope there's not a dead possum in the automatic feeder housing. They did not finish all of that canned food last night, so that was not a hit with them. They ate some of it, but when they really like it, they like lick it clean. The cats are getting their breakfast on their beautiful Christmas platter. It is an nature's variety of sink raw chicken bites. I'm thinking I should put some water in there. It's 11.09 a.m. and right now Stella and Boo both ate treats on either side of the gate right near each other. There was no hissing, no growling, no poking each other. It went really well. I only had a few treats each. I was finishing a little bag of natural treats for them. Um, but I was happy with that. It is 12.30 p.m. It is about 34 degrees out. It's just about freezing, um, thankfully, because otherwise this rain would be snow. And I'm going to put some food out in the feeder for Hydrox. I've been hoping that the rain would stop for a little while, but it hasn't, and it doesn't look like it's going to be stopping. I am completely dreading going outside after seeing that immobile possum in the feeder housing last night. I am hoping very much that it was only playing dead because possums do play dead and that when I go outside there will be no possum in the feeder housing because if there is a possum in the feeder housing like still stuck there not moving it's most likely dead because they say they can play dead for up to four hours in which case it should be gone but if it's still there, I have no idea how that thing is getting out. I just replaced the water and I put a full can of the Nature's Variety Pride uh, chicken food in uh, this section. I added some water and I'm going to slide it under the table. And from what I can see here, there does not appear to be a possum in the feeder anymore. I'm going to go get a flashlight just to be sure. Okay, I just checked the feeder. I looked in it with a flashlight from both sides, and there's no possum, so at least I could breathe a little bit easier. But I still need to um, take the roof off the feeder and make sure there's enough dry food for the next several days. But I'm not going to do that. I could do that tomorrow. So I'm going to go see what the weather report is and when there's going to be a break in this rain. Hopefully it's not going to rain straight through tonight and all the way through tomorrow. Today is day 23 for the cat's advent calendar and this is their little gift bag. What did they get? Boo's standing about a foot away from me. Oh, there he is. What'd you get, Boo? You gonna open it? Do you wanna open it? Wanna open the bag? You gonna open it, Boo? What is it? What is it? Oh, 
Oh, he just wants to hold it. Look at that. He just wants to hold it. Come on. Okay. Let's see what they got. <gasps> what is it, Bill? What'd you get? They got Blue Wilderness Cat Treats. This is trout flavor. It says crunchy treats cats crave. These are 100% grain free. It says, inspired by the lynx, a carnivore who thrives on meat, wilderness crunchy cat treats provide a delicious taste in a crunchy treat that cats crave. 100% grain free, wilderness crunchy cat treats feature the finest natural ingredients and never contain any chicken or poultry. Byproduct meals, corn, wheat, or soy, or artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. Blue Wilderness Crunchy Cat Treats are the perfect way to cater to your cat's wild side. Ingredients. Trout, chicken meal, potato starch, peas, brewer's dried yeast, chicken fat, natural flavor, citric acid, potassium chloride, preserved with mixed tocopherols, oil of rosemary. Ooh, you want to try these? Want to try the treats? Want to take a picture? Want to pose? Yeah. Pose with the treats. Look at me. So this is what the treats look like. They kind of look like temptations. Those like little puffy pillows. And as you can see, Boo likes them. They are Boo approved. Want more? Want more Boo? Who thinks they're yummy? Okay, Boo, a few more and then that's it. No more after this. I don't want to give you too many. I'll give you some more later, okay? Right now we're just filming a taste test. Okay, good boy. Boo inhaled those. Let's talk about these green rugs. I got these green rugs at Costco. They were a really good deal. I forget how much they were, but they were inexpensive. And I bought one of them at the time, and then I said, let me see how the cats like them down here. And what I did was, I actually put them on top of the carpet. So there's like a Berber carpet down here. And I really like the Berber carpet down here. It goes well with the basement. Um, and I put these green rugs. And the green rugs, they don't look as nice down here. I mean, you come down here and you're like, well, why are there big green rugs down here? But I bought them because I feel like with the cats inside, when they were outside, um, you know, there was green grass, so I thought maybe they'd like it because of the green color, and I think they really do like it because of the green color. They kind of recognize this as their play area. And the other thing that I did not realize uh, about these rugs is because they are like a solid color green, you can see everything on these rugs. So right now I'm in the middle of vacuuming these rugs, and so with like this Berber you really don't see anything because it's so many different colors and you know it's earth tones and I'm not going to be able to see like if the cats um, are shedding like their fingernails or if there's like stray pieces of litter or whiskers and stuff like you're not really going to see it on this rug as much whereas on this rug uh, you see it a lot more so right now Stella is sitting like where I need to vacuum like, you could see everything on this rug. Like, everything. Like, all these nails and, like, all this, like, pieces of litter or whatever the heck a lot of this stuff is. But, like, it's literally, like, all over the place. So, I actually kind of like that about this rug because if it wasn't so obvious, I don't think I would be vacuuming as often as I do. I'd be like, oh, the rug's clean. But in reality, it's not, so... And that's the story of these green rugs. Look how perfectly this Ikea bed fits under this cat tree. Like, it's a perfect fit. I had this blue basket under there, and the cats used to like to lay on it. And um, the, and the Ikea bed was next to the cat wheel, and they never, ever used the Ikea bed. So I'm gonna move it here under the cat tree, see if they use it here, they should use it here. And I am going to move this somewhere.
Okay, let's see if Stella, Splash, and Simba like these trout flavored Blue Wilderness cat treats. You think they're gonna like them? I think Stella's gonna like them. Stella, you wanna pose? Pose with the treats. Go ahead, pose. Stella, pose. Cindy, you wanna pose? Who wants treats? Simba likes the treats. Stella likes the treats. Simba just stole one of Stella's treats. Okay, guys, ready for more? More treats? Okay, be good. Stella, Simba. Stella, Simba. Stella, Simba. Right here. Stella, Simba. Right here. I don't want to give him too many. Stella, Simba. I'm going to have to save some for Splash. Okay, so they really like these treats. These treats are Stella approved and Simba approved. Okay, one more each, guys, and that's it. Then that's it. Wow. 8.30 p.m. Stella is hanging out under the Christmas tree. She really likes laying under it. Thank you.